Hey, this is Corey with Palmetto Battery Pros. Today, we are going to be removing and reinstalling the hybrid battery and a 2011 to 2016 Toyota Camry Hybrid. Go ahead and remove the carpet. Next, go ahead and remove the 12 volt cover. Remove the negative post from the 12 volt. And this will disconnect all 12 volt power to the vehicle. Next, go ahead and drop your rear seats. To do that, for the passenger side, go to the trunk and right in the center top, pull the lever. That will unlock the passenger side rear seat. To remove the driver's side rear seat, go ahead and pop this little square panel off. Open it up. There's a little metal ring inside. Pull that ring. It unlocks the seat, and then you go ahead and pull that seat down. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and remove all the trim and paneling from the trunk. First, go ahead and remove the spare tire cover, trunk cover. Just remove the high voltage battery cover in the trunk, and by doing uh, to do that, it's just Velcroed in. You can just pull this piece of paneling away. This exposes the high voltage battery. Once the battery is exposed, remove two 10 millimeter nuts here and here to expose the service plug. And to remove the service plug, you simply pull it towards the passenger side pull it towards you and remove and we're gonna go ahead and remove this seat out of the way first so go ahead and pull your velcro straps back there are two 12 millimeter mounting bolts for the seats we're gonna go ahead and remove those first you're gonna want to pop this panel off to do that, there's a 12 millimeter bolt here on the bottom, between the bottom of the seat and this piece of trim. And there's actually a second 12 millimeter that anchors this down. Remove both the 12 millimeters and it slides up and out of the way. Next, remove the quick disconnect. Now we're ready to go ahead and remove this plastic panel, which is held on by little plastic mounting clips. We're gonna go ahead and pop those out and remove this panel. Okay, first thing you wanna do is remove the little high voltage clips here, the orange ones. There's two of them, uh, maybe three of them. One up top, one here on the side, and I think there's one on the other side. To do that, go ahead and get your service plug and use the little pins on the top to spin it and it should pop out and then really there's one up here that needs to be removed. All right. Next we are going to remove the cover for our high voltage lines using 10 millimeter nuts. There are three of them. Remove and retain. And disconnect your high voltage lines, the positive and negative high voltage lines. There's a little push pin on the side. Push that pin in, hold the line out towards you, and set off to the side safely. There's also another quick disconnect right here that needs to be done. You simply push this pin in and pull the harness out. I'm gonna go ahead and take this cover off. Two 10 millimeter bolts on the sides. And you have two 10 millimeter nuts on the back side. This piece can be removed. And you also have a little plastic clip in there that you'll need to remove. 
after that, we're gonna go ahead and disconnect and remove our fan. To do that, we have some mounting clips here. We have 10 millimeter nuts here, here, and on the other side of the fan. And then we have a quick disconnect right here. Remove the fan and inspect. There is a plastic clip on the bottom. Use your needle nose to pop that off. Go ahead and disconnect it. Now this fan is not dirty, but there is a layer of dust on the blades. I'm gonna go ahead and clean this out. It's very important for this fan to be at 100%. There is another quick disconnect here on the back side of the pack, driver's side. These two need to be removed, one here, one down here. Uh, to remove this piece, you're gonna use your 10 millimeter sock. We are going to completely remove this vent tube. There is a black clip here, and we've already removed the 10 millimeter nut here. On second thoughts, it is gonna be a little easier to remove this 10 millimeter bolt right here. Nut, sorry. Remove this little bracket, and now the nut. Remove and retain. Now we can go ahead and remove this battery and put the new one in. Okay, I've repaired the battery. The battery is in good working order. Okay, before you start your mounting bolts, once you have the battery in place, Go ahead and slide the battery over to the left as much as you can right here to the passenger side so you can squeeze this vent in. Go ahead and get this vent started and just set it in place. And your fan only goes on one way. There's three 10 millimeter mounting uh, bolts for the fan. So once the fan sits down on there, you would go ahead and push this vent tube into place. Now you can go ahead and set your battery back down into its pro proper place. Make sure your holes are aligned. Right. Go ahead and start by hand your 12 millimeter mounting bolts, and there are six of them. There are two in the rear and four in the cabin. Tighten them all down. Next, you're gonna go ahead and hook your battery up. Uh, to do that, you're gonna run your main high voltage lines. Uh, well, first go ahead and plug this guy back in. This clicks and then you just drop these into place the high voltage lines they click right in very nicely very easily and now you're ready for your cover
Okay, now we can go ahead and put our fan inlet air tube back in place. Replace the plastic clip for your fan vent tube. Put the electrical connections back up and the fan mounting. Tighten it down. Plug your fan back up. this back down, tighten your 12 millimeter bolts, replace the passenger side back seat by running it underneath the brackets, make sure your seat belt's up out of the way. Place the service plug cover. Then we'll place your spare tire cover. Make sure your 12 volt negative is replaced and tightened. Replace the 12 volt cover. Lastly, go ahead and replace your carpet, and you're good to go. You've just replaced your Toyota Camry hybrid battery. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. I'll be sure to get back with you. Um, and if you have any suggestions, we always like to hear those too. Please subscribe to the channel. We have more videos on hybrid battery rebuilds and battery installations coming out, and we look forward to seeing you next time. Thank you.